It's the Battle of the Blunt Brits. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Simon Cowell against Gordon Ramsay. My grand's flip-flops have more texture. Looking for WatchMojo videos with a British twist? Well, pack your bags and take a trip to WatchMojo UK for even more bloody brilliant content. For this video, we're going to find out which British personality is the best on TV. We'll be looking at five crucial categories to determine our winner. And on that note, <laughs> I think you should leave right now. Round one, show quality and quantity. American Idol has the kind of production values you'd expect from a show about singers and international superstardom. Everything is lit and staged like the contestants are on the world's biggest stage, and they kind of are. However, despite being a well-produced and well-oiled television show for over 15 seasons, it lacks a little bit of creativity and doesn't often deviate from its formula. Additionally, though American Idol is a huge hit, Simon has never quite reached the same level of success with his other television ventures. I don't see anything current, anything interesting, anything which would make me interested in you as a performer. On the other hand, Kitchen Nightmares also follows a predictable formula, but each episode is different because of the nature of its format. Gordon's show goes to a completely new place each episode. Despite the strain of filming in constantly changing locations, the production still manages to give us great TV to watch. We get to see behind-the-scenes kitchen drama we can only imagine in our dreams – or nightmares. Since Ramsey's shows show us something different each week and are still produced excellently, we give him the nod here. Winner, Gordon. Yeah, delicious. Well done. Wow. Round 2 – Professional Success before he was making people cry in front of millions of live viewers, Simon Cowell was already a successful music producer. He's also been a judge on the British show's Pop Idol, The X Factor, and Britain's Got Talent. So Additionally, he was a judge on the American versions of those same shows. On top of that, he's a founder and executive of the entertainment company Psycho. All these successful endeavors add up to an estimated net worth of over $450 million for Simon Cowell. Not to be outdone, Gordon Ramsay is himself the star of several hit television shows in Britain and the United States, including Kitchen Nightmares, Hell's Kitchen, MasterChef, and Hotel Hell. He's also the author of several books. However, perhaps his crowning achievements are the 16 Michelin stars his various restaurants have picked up over the years. All this hard work has led to an estimated $175 million net worth. This is a close one, but Simon gets the edge here for his higher net worth. Winner, Simon. Round 3 – Talent I would, I just got a bit of a sore throat today. <laughs> Here's an old saying, when you can't do, teach. In Simon's case, if you can't do, criticize relentlessly. That was terrible. You're horrible! Who are you? It was painful. I've heard some brilliant singers in my time. You are not one of them. To be fair, though, he's really good at it. One of the best in the world, in fact. Although he's known for his appearances on music-related television shows, he doesn't have much of a reputation for singing himself. His biggest talent seems to be in television production and talent recognition, which he is spectacular at. Simon Cowell was also named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World in 2004 and 2010. Conversely, Gordon Ramsay is not just super talented at yelling, he's also super talented at cooking. His shows mostly revolve around the culinary arts, whether they're based around competitions or rescue missions, so it's a great benefit to him that he has excellent kitchen skills. His restaurants have gobbled up many awards, including the aforementioned Michelin stars, and his skill at cooking is evident when he crafts a masterful recipe for a failing establishment. For his personal skills and accomplishments, we give this round to the guy with the knife. Winner, Gordon. Let the knife do the work. Looking for six stunning portions. Round four, meanness. If anyone ever asks me in my life what my nightmares look and sound like, <laughs> I'm going to refer Dang. to that. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> that's what keeps me up at night. It takes an epic amount of disregard for the feelings of others to say the things Simon says, and in front of millions of people, no less. His wit carries a unique quality of meanness that we really can't find in too many other places. That was more Mariah scary. We're pretty sure he says some things just to be cruel, even if he denies it. Some of his hardcore followers even find themselves surprised by the harsh things he says. 
We're just glad he does it on TV, so we all get to see it. Last year, I described someone as being the worst singer in America. I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world. Gordon Ramsay seems to be cut from the same cloth. Overcooked on the bottom, crispy as f and it looks like Gandhi's flip-flop. The chef is extraordinarily skilled at tearing down a human being's emotions and reducing them to a pile of crushed dreams. However, Ramsay is usually not just being mean for the sake of it. Pass it back to Chef Melissa, the f***ing gremlin. Everything she touches, she screws. There you go. Sorry, guys. Sometimes, if a person messes up on one of Gordon's shows, it can literally mean life or death. I could kill someone. That's the bottom line. If you've seen one of Ramsay's shows, you know how dangerous a raw piece of chicken can be, so his anger is often justified. In terms of pure, unadulterated meanness, though, this round goes to Mr. Cowell. Winner, Simon. You couldn't win this competition if you were the only person in it in a million years. <laughs> round five, entertainment value. You've definitely made an impression here, Eric. Thanks. Erica. Get all that. Yeah, that was yeah. the goal. Um, <laughs> what's the big dream here? The big dream no, is... is... What is television supposed to be if not entertaining? Educational? Informative? Nah, get that stuff out of here. Simon took the airwaves by storm when we first heard his brutal insults and ultra-harsh criticisms. We couldn't believe some of the things that were coming out of his mouth. William, it's one of actually the worst auditions we've had this year, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, everything about it was grotesque. They were the kind of things we all thought but never had the courage or meanness to say. Simon seems to have no regard for the feelings of others, and while he's harsh, He's also a blast to watch. This was a very hammy, bad audition for you as something you aspire to be, which obviously isn't a singer. Similarly, Gordon Ramsay can oftentimes shock us with his upfront and cringingly honest assessments of the food on some of his shows. I swear to God, it's the kind of shit you'd expect Tiger Woods to tee off with. Look at it. Rubber, rubber, rubber! Maybe we've never had risotto before, but we believe Gordon when he says it's undercooked. Ramsey is also so clever with his tirades that he's become something of a meme machine. He is constantly turning out harsh words that keep the whole internet entertained. And that's saying something. Despite the fact that Simon's shows revolve around singers, dancers, and entertainers, we find that the chef with the temper offers the most entertainment value. Winner, Gordon. And look at the result. A soggy, disgusting nugget sat on a bed of unwanted slaw over a gummy puree that I'd give my granddad to paste his house, put new wallpaper, not to eat. Disgusting. There are the results. In professional success and meanness, Simon Cowell cannot be topped. However, in show quality, talent, and entertainment value, Gordon Ramsay takes the cake, so to speak. This makes Ramsay the biggest of the two British TV personalities. Goodbye to the big place. Hello, profits. One, two, three, go. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.